Hey, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to JCTV. I'm Orlando, the way from the Dominican Republic. Transmitting from here from the Allure of the Seas, Royal Caribbean International. I am with a superstar, sports staff, very professional and very talented. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Tell everybody what is your name from where you come from. Uh, my name is Beth and I'm all the way from Scotland. You're from Scotland. Yeah. Hey Beth, tell me anything about you. Anything? Yeah, tell me about your career. Uh, I've been working in the travel industry for seven years now. Okay. Yeah. I started working in hotels across Europe uh, as family entertainer, sports, uh, family entertainment team leader. Okay. Uh, and then I accidentally came onto a cruise ship and I've been here for three contracts now. Oh, so it's three contracts? I've been here for almost nine years, just to oh, let yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> So Beth, are you back home uh, married? Do you have a boyfriend? Do you, do you leave somebody nothing. there? No, no, not at all. No. Single? Single completely. There was a boy and now there is no longer one. And I'm just enjoying life by myself. Just having fun and enjoy your job. Exactly. What do you think about the pandemic? Uh, it's hit a lot of people hard in very different ways. Um, I th always think what's meant to be is what's meant to be. So sadly, although it's brought a lot of sadness, it's also brought joy in different ways and it's made people realize a lot of things that maybe they had yeah. to. Um, so, you know, it's been unexpected for everyone, but I think everyone has become more strong from the pandemic. Okay. Well, very interesting. That is a great answer. That's what I'm talking about. Very clever lady. A sport. Why did you choose sport instead of choosing something else? Um, I originated from uh, dancing, actually, is how I started, and then um, from the entertainment side, I was very good more at the aerobics and the fitness, and then that kind of developed into the full sports genre, and then um, I've ended up sticking with it. Sports is a lot of fun, it's very active, I like to be active. Uh, surprisingly, I don't have one sport that I love, yeah. um, I just enjoy being able to move around and just being able to relax and have fun and not take everything so seriously. I'm pretty sure that when you have guests here on Royal Caribbean International, you have to train them to do the floor riding, even for the zip liner, right? Exactly, yeah. So you have to give them a training first. Yeah, we have to give them okay. lots of instruction, yeah. Interesting, I didn't know that. Beth, let's talk about a little bit of uh, football. Okay. I saw a lot of Scottish people yesterday, they were celebrating that England lost. Yes. My question is, uh, you are part of the UK, yeah. okay, you're from Scotland, but part of the UK yeah. as well as England. Instead of supporting England, why Italy? Could you explain that to us? Uh, so we basically support any team that England are playing against and the reason for that is one, I mean, there's a lot of history between Scotland and England many, many years ago uh, with wars, etc. Um, but more recently, um, we have issues with politics there. Yeah. The, their government pretty much runs our government. Um, there's been issues with it wanting independence okay. as well. And something I've noticed since working in the travel industry is if you speak to someone who's not from the UK, you tell them the UK, they just know England. They don't okay. know Scotland, Ireland, Wales. They just think England is it's the, the whole yeah, country. It's the whole country, and it's very yeah. frustrating because we're very different and we're very proud to be different. Okay. Um, so it can be, yeah, it kind of all stems from numerous things. Um, I like English people, but it's just as a whole, the country. Yeah. Um, we tend to have a lot of differences with what we want. It's like Dominican Republic, Haiti. We yeah, don't do a exactly. sport, yeah, but we like the people. Exactly. But what do you think about that game? Because England was winning. They were winning and there were so many British having fun, drinking. Yes. But then guess what? At the end, they all started fighting. I don't know why they were fighting if they lost. Like, that's what they didn't understand. Yeah, the, um, yeah, it's the alcohol, really, I think. You know, <laughs> it really is. It controls so many actions and it can be used so positively and then it can be used so negatively. And because... Um, it was such a big loss, regardless of how good the game was and how well they played the game. 
at the outcome essentially was not what they wanted so people got angry people got upset and people just took it out in the wrong way i think because yeah. they were intoxicated you know? but let me tell you when i was watching the game italy was playing very dirty mm. like they were exactly. grabbing the players here grabbing the arms you know what i think italy just needed to have guns to start shooting <laughs> the players honestly it was a very difficult game but as a as a with all the knowledge that you have about sport who would you blame for the england lost oh i would have to say you know the the head of the table the coach and the manager yeah. and the people that are controlling the players because the players are, are really good they're good at what they do they try their absolute best um but you know it's so, the game went on for so long there was so much pressure I don't think they pulled in the right players in the right time and pulled them out at the right time. Um, but you can't. If it comes down to penalties, then it does. But it's not the sole blame on yeah. those players that the penalties never happened. Because I saw during the game, the coach he didn't rest the player. No, no. Italy no. did it three times. Yeah. But then he decided to do it at the end. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, you heard why it's Scottish. Uh, they were not really happy yesterday when England was winning, but they're excited because England lost. Yeah. I'm not excited England lost because no. my wife, she's from England. Oh, yeah, that's true. My wife, she's from England, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot, so, darling, I'm not against you. We, we, it's okay. We cried together. Yeah. But out of your country, have you ever experienced like have, uh, dating somebody else? Like, I don't know, somebody from a different country. That's what I mean. Yes, um, my the last boy I was talking about, um, my ex, I was with him for almost two years and he was from the Dominican. No, so you're kidding me. Two years? Two years. You were uh, with a Dominican man for two years. Yes. Did you break up with him? Or? No, um, I, no, he broke up with me. Yeah. Oh. It was, uh, I blame the pandemic actually, you know, because we were so, we were so far away from each other for so long. Yeah and uh, eventually it was making neither of us very happy but him more than me obviously wow okay so, interesting yeah i need to do some translation let me translate this ladies and gentlemen <laughs> tengo que hacer una traducción voy a español dame un segundo one second señores y señores acabo de preguntarle a beth si ella alguna vez ha tenido un novio fuera de la república dominicana y adivinen que eh, tenía un novio dominicano y por motivos de la pandemia este rompieron, pero eso es raro. Los dominicanos que me están viendo, porque allá hay tanto sanky panky. Do you know the word sanky panky? Hanky panky. Es hanky. Oh, she even knows more. A mí ella sabe más que yo. Hanky panky. Did he tell you about it? Uh, not so much. But no. do you know what is a hanky panky? Uh, from what we know, it's um, you know being involved with someone, feeling around. Uh, kind of. A hunky punk is a person who wants to leave the country. Okay. It doesn't matter how, with a gay, with a woman, with okay. a grandpa, with Just a grandma. Get away. Yes. Yeah. Or either want to have a salary, like wants to go okay. to Western Union. Yeah. 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 But I'm telling you, my wife, mm -hmm. I haven't been in England yet for seven years. Wow. Seven really? years. But she, my queen, she lives with me in Dominican Republic. Lovely. Yeah, you know her, the Tindy yeah, manager. Yeah. I yeah. Know, yeah. Did you learn any words from Dominican Republic? Any food? Have you been in the country? I never got to visit the country, very sadly. I wanted to. Um, but I, you know, was trying to learn Spanish. What can him. you say in Spanish? Oh, give me five words in Spanish. Oh, so we got, ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está? Okay, decir cómo está en español? What else? No, hola. Hola. Uh, we, I learned the, the phrase to flirt with him. You yeah. Que lo que papi. <laughs> Say that again. Que lo que papi. <laughs> que lo que papi. Ay, suena tan lindo eso. Anything else? Uh, you know, ay mami. Es ay mami. Guapa, no, guapa. es ay mami. <laughs> Mi guapa. Así, ves. Like you, that. You need to say it in the right, yeah. the right tone, you know. What about so, bad words? What do you mean? Any bad words did he teach you? Cause no, actually. I don't th not that I can remember. No, you don't remember anything? No. Okay. No, I'm sorry. She doesn't know any bad words, ladies and gentlemen. First lady who's <laughs> not from Dominican Republic who doesn't know. My wife knows how to say bad words. Yeah. She knows how to say. <laughs> I'm telling you. You know that. Hey, Chico. MMH. I'm not going to say that because she hasn't said it. Beth. Mm. Anything that you want to share with your people back from Scotland? Oi. 
You want to tell them how you're feeling on the ship? How is, how is everything going? Um, everything is going good on the ship. It's very different to what we're used to. Um, I always like, I always feel like there's not never enough Scottish people on board. So, you know, if you're ever considering doing this type of job. Oh my God, you got like five Scottish on the ship right now. Yeah, right now. But, you know, I've been on another two contracts and I had very little Scottish. So I, I need more. I always so this contract, you're happy? Yes, this contract is good. We have quite a lot. We have the bar manager, <laughs> the HR manager. We have so many. Oh yeah, the HR manager, Gary, Gary. Yeah, he's Gary, from... bar manager, of course, in charge of the alcohol because he's got Oh yeah, very smart. he knows a lot about whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, So yeah, I'd encourage anyone to come and do the job. It's hard right now with the pandemic. We're recovering, we're getting everything together, but come and do the job. It's so much fun. Well, I like that. Did you hear that? That was, a very, that was beautiful. Mm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Orlando. They call me JC. Well, you can add the TV. Uh, I like to do interview in order to show the world wonderful people like Beth. I met her when I came on board. Mm -hmm. I was a little bit, I've got curiosity to, to know a little bit about you, your sport, your, your, your people. Yeah. Why Scotland wanted England to lose so bad? <laughs> also, my beautiful accent that I have very strong, uh, like if I was speaking in Spanish. But anyway, Beth. I would, look, I would like your people to follow me, okay. to give me a like, we'll make it to make some comments. Can you tell them to make some comments? Yes, of course. That's <laughs> <laughs> so once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name, my name is JC TV from the Dominican Republic. Make sure to comment, to like, leave some beautiful comments for Beth.